but as an example, first of all, the, we're only looking at viral families that include um, those that have gone into people from animals. So we, we narrow it down straight away. Then, you, then when you get a sequence of a virus and it looks like a relative of a known nasty pathogen, just like we did with SARS, we found other coronaviruses in bats, a whole host of them. Some of them looked very similar to SARS. So we sequence the spike protein, the protein that attaches to cells. Then we, well, I didn't do this work, but my colleagues in China did the work. You create pseudoparticles, you, look, you insert the spike proteins from those viruses, see if they bind to human cells. And each step of this, you move closer and closer to this virus could really become pathogenic in people. So you narrow down the field, you reduce the cost, and you end up with a small number of, of viruses that really do look like killers. Then you look in people and you say, in the people that live in the region where this animal lives, that are exposed to that virus, do we see antibodies specific?